Before we get started, I know I look a hot mess. I can explain. <laughs> I can explain. So I am back with a brand new video. So this video is going to be all about my hair, obviously. <laughs> I'm going to show you guys in this video how I style my hair. It has been a while since I've given you all a hair video. And sometimes I do get questions about, Rhonda, how do you style your hair? So I decided to do it on camera with you all today. It looks a freaking hot mess because I've been on vacation. So I have vacation hair. I've been wearing hats. I've been out in the sun. I've been sweating, all kinds of stuff. So I thought this would be a really good time to do a hair video with you guys. Plus I am collaborating with Design Essential Hair Care to bring you guys this video because I'm going to be using their new Platinum Collection, which I'm super excited about. It's for dry and coarse hair, which I have right now, in case you cannot tell, um, it's a mess. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it with you guys today on camera. I'm coming to you in a totally different room. I'm in the bathroom today because I wanted to give you guys a little bit more of like a vlog style organic um, video. And so I decided why not just film it in the bathroom? So plus it gives us different scenery, even though it's just a white wall, but it's different scenery, right? Um, but anyway, I'm gonna show you my hair routine from start to finish. Um, but first, let me show you guys the products that I'm going to be using. All right, y'all, so the first product I'm gonna share with you guys is the Design Essentials Platinum Moisture, Deep Moisturizing Shampoo, and this has coconut oil in it, and I love that each bottle does feature the steps. So you'll see this one is step one, so this is gonna be the first thing that we're gonna use. Secondly, this is something that's completely new to my hair care routine, which is the Ultra Moisturizing Mask, and this is step two of the process and this is really cool because this is going to be a mask that I'm going to apply to my hair and what I'm hoping that I get from it is like premium moisture um, because my hair is so dry right now. So just to give you guys an idea of what the products do, they're curated to provide superior moisture for dry and coarse hair, which I have, um, infused with nourishing coconut to hydrate and strengthen strands, lock in moisture and really soften the hair and hydrate the hair. And then the next step is going to be step three, which is going to be the moisturizing leave-in conditioner. This is also infused with coconut oil as well. And um, I am personally a huge fan of leave-in conditioners. I've learned over the years that leave-in conditioner just works really well for my hair. Sometimes it can make it a little bit heavy, a little bit dense. Um, but what I am hoping for this one is that I get a different outcome in terms of the density. Maybe it won't be so heavy. Hopefully it'll still be light. But for me, locking in that moisture with a, a leave-in conditioner just works. It keeps my hair hydrated over an extended period of time. I usually wash my hair um, once a week. So a leave-in conditioner really gives me that hydration that locks in the moisture and just, you know, gets me through those um, those days before I wash my hair again. The last product I'm going to use is going to be the Styling Edge Control. I just adore an edge control. I mean, you really cannot have too much edge control and the previous edge controls that I've used from Design Essential have just been flawless. They've worked amazing for my hair, so I'm hoping that this works the same. Um, so I'm gonna use all of this in this hair tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I wash my hair, I do wanna show you guys what my hair looks like just to get kind of a up close personal look. You guys can see it's so dry. Um, <laughs> it looks like a hot mess right now, like not even fronting. The first thing I'm gonna do is go shampoo my hair and I'm gonna come back and let you guys know how it feels, how it smells and all that. So I'll be right back. So I'm back with super wet hair and I will say honestly y'all, my hair is really soft and it's really easy to comb through. It's not tangled. Um, you know how like sometimes you shampoo your hair and it feels dry and brittle? even after you shampooed it. With this one, it does not feel like that. It feels super hydrated. It smells really, really good. It smells kind of refreshing. It's more of like a sweet scent. Um, it lathered really good and I'm huge on lather. Like I like my hair to lather. I like suds, I like bubbles. It suds up really good. Um, Cause in my mind, I feel like my hair is clean when it suds. I just really, really want to make sure everything is covered. Like my entire scalp is covered because Essentially, the shampoo cleans the scalp. So, so far so good with this. 
Okay, so next we're gonna move on to step two, which is the ultra moisturizing mask, which I am super excited about. Um, so it looks like this, and it smells like a dream. It's, it smells like coconut, it just smells so good. So let's go ahead and get a little bit out. And it looks like this. So it's like a cream consistency. And the instructions for this is to um, to put it on your hair and let it sit for 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna rub it together and just put it on my hair. And I'm just massaging it through so that it gets all over my hair. And I'm gonna let it sit for 15 minutes. So we've washed out the mask and I mean, my hair looks really, really shiny. It feels really, really soft. Um, I feel like the mask really helped the, the hydration kind of penetrate even more into the hair and into the scalp. Um, my hair feels really good. And it's so much more easier to comb, see? Like, it's super easy to comb through. It was a little challenging before, but now it's like really easy to comb through. It feels, it feels more, manageable um it's not as tangled as it was and my hair still feels light and it feels like it's easy to manage so now it's time to hydrate even more and put on conditioner so now it's time to apply the conditioner so i can do that with y'all on camera <laughs> because that doesn't involve me putting my hand into a sink um so i'm just gonna take this is the conditioner show y'all again the moisturized leave-in. I'm just gonna open the palm of my hand and let her go. And I'm heavy handed with this too. Like I like a lot of conditioner and you probably don't need this much, but let's see, what does the instruction say? Um, it says dime to quarter size. Mine is like half dollar size, but we are gonna roll with it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna massage through my hands like this and just apply it to the hair. And it says, depending on length, apply a dime to quarter size amount onto palms and emulsify. Apply to hair and comb through. Do not rinse. Proceed to style, set, or blow out. I will tell you guys the difference so far between this one and uh, conditioners that I've tried before by Design Essential. This one, sometimes the other ones are a little bit thicker than this. So sometimes my hair can be a little bit heavy. But with this, it doesn't feel as heavy. It doesn't feel heavy at all, actually. It feels pretty light to where I'm like, is the product really on my hair? So I'm gonna calm it through. I'm gonna let this sit for just a second and then I'm gonna start blowing my hair out because I don't like to sit with wet hair too long. I'm gonna show y'all a close up of my hair so you can see how it looks. Right now, this is with all the products sitting on. It is hydrated. It does have a ton of shine. So hopefully the shine will hold through. If not, I will add shine products to it. But so far it looks shiny, which is what I really, really like. So I'm excited. So I'm starting to comb it this way. So that way my hair going to the right. So I want to give you guys a close up. This is my hair blown out. Um, I have not applied any other product yet. I'm going to show you guys my finishing products that I'm going to use. I make sure that the products that I style with give me a ton of moisture. Um, but I like my hair to be light and fluffy and just really, really beautiful and full. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys that I use all the time <laughs> is the Design Essential Liquid Shine. This product has been around forever and it just gives my hair just enough shine, just enough hydration without weighing down my hair because I do not like my hair weighed down. The next thing is good old fashioned um, finishing spritz. I use spritz, um, I probably use this maybe once every other day or every two to three days. I don't use this every day because I don't want my hair too stiff. Um, but it does give this a hold without it being too, um, without it being too like crunchy. Nobody does crunchy hair in 
2019. <laughs> and then lastly is going to be my oil sheen. This is the Diamonds Oil Sheen Spray and it feels good. It makes my hair super hydrated um, and it gives it a little bit more shine. Obviously you guys can tell I'm obsessed with shiny hair. And then I'm also gonna finish my um, edges off with the styling edge control. This is a part of the Platinum Collection as well. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this sheen. You see I'm spraying up high and letting it fall down. I'm just kind of go all over. Let's go ahead and get to styling this hair. I'm just gonna grab a little section here. I don't have like defined, um, what is it? Like I don't have like a defined um, part or anything. I just kind of let my hair do its thing. As long as it looks beautiful, that's all I really care about. I'm done curling my hair, so now it's time to style it. I'm gonna take my big comb again, and I'm just gonna comb through my hair. And when I comb mine, I kinda comb it at like a tease, cause I like a little lift on top. Now I'm gonna go ham with my oil sheen to give it more shine. Now I'm gonna go in with my edge control and get these edges together because they look a hot mess. It smells amazing. So this has this has marshmallow extracts. So I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger. And we're just gonna go in and get these edges laid because nobody has time for crazy looking edges. Okay, I just went in too much. All right, so let me show you guys what we look like. This is what we are looking like. It's not perfect, but I think it's very beautiful. All right, y'all, so this is the final hair look. I'm gonna kind of spin around so you guys can see what it looks like. It's super shiny, very hydrated, very moisturized. Um, it's really, really beautiful. I can just literally run my fingers through my hair. It's super shiny. Um, hydrated it's absolutely beautiful i just love it so much my routine hasn't changed much um but i did want to show you guys how i've been doing my hair lately and i wanted to um include those design essential hair products because they are just stellar um just to give you guys kind of a recap of what i think about the platinum collection um the shampoo and the conditioner that i use today i thought performed well um my hair the moisture came in from product number one. Like from the shampoo, um, the moisture really, really locked in really well. The conditioner is hydrating, but it's not overly hydrating, so my hair is not really heavy. It's still really fluffy. And as always, I suggest to always like finish your hair off with some type of finishing spray, whether it's an oil sheen, a shine spray. And then I also um, use spritz as well, just because it just gives your hair the extra layer of hydration and moisture and it makes it super, super manageable and it keeps the shine and it really shows the integrity of the hair, which I am really, really loving right now. So thanks again to Sign Essential for collaborating with me on this video. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope you guys didn't mind the setup change, doing my hair in the bathroom. Um, I just wanted to do something different. I feel like I always do the same thing. So I wanted to kind of switch it up and give you guys a little bit more of a different look. So that's why we did it in the bathroom because this is where I would be doing my hair um, in real life. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to link all of the products that I used below. I do highly encourage that you guys check out those links um, in the description bar to take you to the product. So thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video.